When the A7 debuted, I said to myself, I want one. It's such an elegant car. The rear end is absolutely stunning, producing mesmerizing lines that flow throughout the rest of the vehicle. The A7 has such a beautiful presence on the road, it's impossible not to turn your head when one drives by. Its menacing front grille, gorgeous headlights, and coupe styling are enough alone to coerce you into buying one. But let's not be superficial. What's she like on the inside? Space in the A7 is plentiful, proving it does a lot more than just look good. The A7 has one of the best interiors I've ever been in. The material finish is incredible. Everything seems high quality. The display is enormous and the wood trim is breathtaking. This is a car you could be in for hours and enjoy yourself. The buttons are pleasing to touch and they're also conveniently located. And while it's not as beautiful as BMW's system, Audi's MMI is one of the best in the business. Rear passengers will have a good amount of legroom, and despite its awesome coupe styling, you still get decent headroom. I'm 5'10", and I fit fine in the back. If you were over six foot, it might be a bigger crunch. The A7 makes a statement. It's extremely classy without being gaudy. It's something that I could see James Bond driving. Aesthetics aside, the brilliance continues. Audi has fitted this car with a 3-liter supercharged V6, which pumps out 310 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. While it's claimed to hit 60 miles an hour in 5.4 seconds, the initial grip off the line, thanks to the Quattro all-wheel drive system, is so brutal, it feels much faster than that. As a matter of fact, I was actually surprised that the numbers weren't under five seconds. Its driving dynamics are good for such a big car. Of course it's no R8, but it's still fun to be behind the wheel. And as always, you've got enormous grip from Audi's Quattro system. Talk about a fantastic car to take to the ski slopes. It's rare that I'm as infatuated with a car as I am with this A7. Cars like the Fiat 500 and the new Porsche Boxster spoke to me, not through their specs or their brilliant handling, but there was this extra characteristic about it that was unexplainable. And with the A7, yes, it's practical, it's luxurious, it's got a lot of power, but there's something extra. All these things come together in harmony to provide an absolutely brilliant package. It's a highway cruiser, a business commuter, a back road coaster, and a kid hauler. The A7 does so many things so well, you'd hardly need another car. Now if this was an RS7, you actually might only need one car. But with a base price of $106,500 and a fuel economy that makes the A7 look like a Tesla, it's an entirely different animal. Knowing that I'm going to soon exit the A7 and toss the keys back to the dealer makes me sad. I really love this car. It's incredible mix of beauty, refinement, luxury, practicality, and a little something extra make it one of the most desirable cars on the market. And for those reasons, you should head on over to Audi of Ann Arbor, Michigan and drive this car to experience its brilliance.